Hello everyone, it is so nice to see you. It has been a hot minute since I sat down and filmed. And so much has happened in the last couple of weeks that it feels very weird to be sitting down and filming, especially because a lot of the content I made before this, basically in the last month, has been very vlog style. So it feels very odd to be like, let's set up the camera for, you know, a sit down video. It's kind of a strange high camera angle, just because this room is a bit weird with lighting and it's like very up high windows so we're just working with what we've got it also might be a little bit echoey because we are in the studio here um, i've got a couch and a little rug that's trying to absorb some of the sound but it definitely is a bit more echoey it's beautiful for playing violin in. but we'll see how it goes for filming um, i probably am going to try and film in different parts of the house over the next few while just kind of like get used to where will be a good setup so bear with me while i do a bit of experimentation over the next few while but i thought today i would just sit down and film a little favorites video for you guys but also kind of a bit of just a life update chit chat i just kind of wanted to sit down and talk to you guys in and amongst all the craziness that's happening in the world right now, especially if you're over in the US with the election madness, um, I'm sure that this video will come as a nice relief amongst it all. And I want to thank you guys so much as well for your patience over the last couple of weeks while I took about two weeks off just because yesterday I actually did an audition for a job here in Christchurch and just with moving and everything, I was feeling a little bit underprepared and felt like I needed to just like fully dedicate all of my attention for the last sort of week towards preparing for that. Um, and it was a really good decision because I ended up passing the audition and I've been offered a trial for next year, which is really cool. It's with the Christchurch Symphony Orchestra, who I already am on their casual list. I'm actually doing a gig with them this week, uh, which our concert is on the weekend, which is very exciting. But they had a permanent sort of salaried position come up with a couple of positions actually, which would be like guaranteed money for next year if I do pass the trial and such. So it made a lot of sense to go for it. Not only is it a great feeling obviously to have passed and have been offered a trial, but the feedback I got from the panel was amazing as well. Just really gave me a good confidence boost. Helps me and Alex to feel a little bit more like this was definitely the right thing to do to move. So, and thank you to those that have already sent me lovely well wishes over on my Instagram. It's very much appreciated. But yeah, my gosh, this morning I had a really nice lion in bed till about 10.30. <laughs> and I had two coffees and I just sat and blobbed and it was so nice because I've just been very busy the last couple of weeks, obviously. This last month, leaving Melbourne, going through quarantine, moving into this house, and then preparing for an audition. It's just been a lot. As well as the program that we're performing in this week. I have to also prepare for that. So it's been a lot. But we are here. Cheers. Before we jump into sort of my favourites. I'll give you guys an update on the move. And on the house and everything. So I will be really honest with you guys. It hasn't been easy. It's been a massive transition getting used to life here in New Zealand and also just life in this house life in a house we haven't lived in a house in a very long time we were apartment livers um, so it's just been a huge adjustment um, unfortunately our boxes on the boat have been quite significantly delayed now and at first I was like it's okay to have a small delay like it just spreads out the moving content it'll be fine and I was really coping well with the sort of uncertainty of it but now it keeps getting pushed back and pushed back and pushed back and it's looking likely that we won't get our stuff until the end of November. If we don't get it by like December, I'm gonna absolutely lose it because my patience is worn too thin by that point. Now, I know that's very first world problems, um, but like I don't really have any summer clothes. Like it's really hot today. <laughs> I'm wearing this jumpsuit and it's one of the only real summer, summer, summer pieces I have. I have a lot of like good spring kind of weather wear. <sighs> So I'm like, please, I need my boxes to arrive. I also want my vacuum cleaner. I had to borrow my mother's so I could vacuum this house. Um, I have to borrow hers again at some point if the things are still delayed. Thankfully, most of this house is like hardwood floors and tiles and stuff, so I can sweep, but I love a good vacuum, you know? Um, and also just everything that we packed into those boxes are like the really special things that like make your home feel like a home. So... It's meaning that Alex and I are really struggling to feel settled here and to make it feel like this is our place, you know? Like a lot of the furniture we're borrowing um, from family, so it's sort of like nice to have a few of those soft furnishings from our older place to kind of make it feel like it's our space for a while because we're probably only going to be in this house for a year, so I'm pretty gutted that it's been so delayed. But, I mean, in terms of moving during a pandemic, that's the only thing that's really gone wrong and so... I guess we did okay overall. It's just a bit disappointing, but 
Fingers crossed guys, I need everyone's fingers crossed that they arrive by the end of this month so we can at least enjoy the festive season with all my nice, you know, gold things and pelts and whatnot. So that's a little update on that. It means in terms of my content, as I say, I'm making a favorites video today. The next video is actually going to be a concert day, get ready with me, which I'm really excited about. So I'm filming that on Saturday because I've got my very first concert. <laughs> here in New Zealand, which I'm thrilled. So it is with Christchurch Symphony, that, who's the orchestra I've got this trial with, but I was booked for this already just as a casual. Um, and it's a really cool program. It's got West Side Story on it, which you guys know, I did a whole season of that in Canberra last year. I know that piece like the back of my hand, um, also like American in Paris and Rhapsody in Blue, like lots of pieces I think, even if you're not super into classical music, you've probably heard before. So it's a very accessible, fun program. I'm really looking forward to it. So. I will be doing a little glam makeup get ready with me on that day. I think that would be really fun. Um, and then probably the video after that, I'll do a bit of a home update vlog, kind of maybe like a weekly vlog or something. Because even though our stuff hasn't arrived, I do want to get on to getting a few more like plants. And there's a few things I know I can buy that aren't coming on the boat to like help make this place feel good. So you'll notice behind me, there is a little plant there already. My mum gave that to me when we moved in, which is really lovely. So I've had a wee plant to tend to, which is nice. Um, but I definitely want to get a few more. And my gorgeous auntie in Sydney sent me and Alex a gift card for a garden shop here so that we could go and fill the place with some plants. So it's very sweet. So now that my audition's out of the way, I feel like I can actually go and do those things and just start to make this place feel really nice. So it's 26 degrees here in Christchurch today which is not like boiling or anything, but this is a pretty old house and it's one of those houses where like anything under 20 outside, it feels freezing inside here and you have to put heating on. And then anything over like 23, I feel like it feels abnormally warm. It feels like a 40 degree Melbourne day inside here. But yeah, other than that, I think that is most of the updates I wanted to give you guys. Let's move on to my favorites for the month. So. Obviously starting out with a pretty obvious one. I got my hair finally done. So I got my roots touched up, brought my foils and highlights right back up, which is so nice for summer to have it all bright and blonde again, but it's still nice and sandy. So it's very sort of natural looking. So I got my hair done here in Christchurch like two days after we arrived. And I went to the Vivo Cashel Square salon. Um, and Rachel was the girl that did my hair. She did such a nice job. So I'm really, really thrilled with the results. And one of the other products that is a favorite for the month, along with my new hair, is a product that she upsold me on very well at the salon. Whenever I get my hair lightened, I always get Olaplex with it so that it helps my hair not to fall out or get damaged while it's getting bleached. And usually that's step one and two done in the salon. And then step three, you do take home as like a kind of treatment to use before your shampoo and conditioner and such. You only have to do it, say, maybe like once a week or so, but I was always so forgetful to do it because it's kind of not like a hair mask you do in the shower. You meant to kind of do it like before and I don't know, I just would never get around to it. Sometimes it would go like two months before I'd be like, I should really do an Olaplex. Um, so she sold me this, which I thought was a much, much better kind of product. So this is the Olaplex number six. It's the Bond Smoother. And this is a leave-in reparative styling cream. Reduces frizz, nourishes, and protects. So this is basically like Olaplex number three, but in like a leave-in styling cream form. And I was like, yes. I need that because I was just about to go and buy the Aveda damage remedy like leave-in cream that I usually use because I'd run out of mine needed to repurchase that but when she talked to me about this I was like that sounds perfect then I get the benefits of Olaplex to help keep my hair nice and strong and not get damaged from bleaching but it also kind of fills the gap of that like leave-in product you use before heat styling so I'm really thrilled with it so I've only used it for two weeks but I've really enjoyed it so far it's been a great product it smells nice too and then another hair product I thought I'd talk about as well is another repurchase for me this is the Aveda shampoo dry shampoo so I purchased this just before I left Australia wasn't sure if we could get this in New Zealand so I kind of panic panicked and bought it because I'd run out and I'd Bought just a Batiste one to kind of tie me over. And I tell you what, I don't think Batiste or any of those like aerosol dry shampoos are worth the money. They just run out so fast. I got through mine in about three weeks. Whereas a bottle of this non aerosol kind of dry shampoo, you meant to just kind of squeeze the bottle and it puffs out. This will last me like five months at least. It's like, it's so good. And it's a really, really good dry shampoo as well. I find it really does a great job of absorbing my oil without looking white and powdery. It like really rubs in well. 
and it smells absolutely beautiful like a lot of Aveda products do. So it was only around the 30 something dollar mark in Australia which again I think is really decent considering how long it lasts. And it's also a really nice compact size so it's really travel friendly even though this is the full size you get 56 grams of product by the way it looks like i'm super sweaty here but it's actually my perfume oil it hasn't quite absorbed in i mean i am quite i'm quite warm right now but it looks extra bad <laughs> if you also watch taylor win here on youtube like i'm sure many of my viewers do um, then you will have heard her talking recently about the purito snail clearing bb cream I heard her talk about this a couple of months ago and so I immediately ordered it. They only had on Yes Style two shades, 21 and 23 I believe. So I got 21 even knowing that it was probably going to be a bit dark for me and as you can kind of see it is. It's a good shade, too dark for me really. But I love the finish of it, it's so beautiful, it's like really glowy but it kind of sets down as well and doesn't budge. So I really love that about it, that it maintains that luminosity but it actually stays in place all day, which for someone with oily skin is quite hard to find. I use it with a sponge, which is how I think I can sort of get away with the shade because it does sheer it out a little bit. I will say that the shade does come out looking a heck of a lot darker than it actually blends in. So it does blend in a tiny bit lighter than when you first put it out. I was like, oh gosh, it's not going to match me at all. I think I can get away with it, but you can kind of see my face looks a good like shade bronzier than like my body which normally isn't so bad if I'm wearing like a t-shirt but when I've got all my skin out it doesn't look quite right. I have heard though that this exact product has been discontinued and they've replaced it with a new one which doesn't have any fragrance and I'm thrilled so I really want to order that one actually and try it because it's the one thing I don't like about this is that it's so highly fragranced so I'm really really thrilled that the new version that hopefully comes in more shades as well is actually fragrance free so I'll keep you guys updated on that. Thought I'd just mention what I was wearing because a lot of you have been asking what's on my face lately. I got this sent to my parents' house, so it was waiting here for me when we arrived. <laughs> but up until then, I was using the number 7 Hydroluminous Foundation. This is in the shade Porcelain. But I've unfortunately officially run out of this, and you can't buy this in New Zealand. So if I want to get it again, I'll have to do some sort of order from the UK to get it. Because it's such a great foundation. This is kind of like an empties video because I also ran out of my Glossier Boy Brow. But I used this for most of the month and absolutely loved it. This is in the shade brown. So what I've got on my brows today is the Essence Make Me Brow, which I do like. I really like it, but I like the Glossier one even better. I think it is a better formula. I'm not sure I'd do an order from Glossier like just for this because I'm going to have to use a shipping forwarding service to get it here. So I might wait until there's like a few things that I want from them and then it's kind of worth doing that whole process because it you know can be kind of pricey but it is a fantastic product especially if you were in the US or the UK uh, or places where Glossier ships to. I absolutely love their boy brow and I'm sad to see this one all used up finally. That's the other thing I'm missing in the in the boat with all my stuff is my makeup collection. I've now been living with the same makeup bag for like two and a half months and I'm so ready to like switch some things out and I'm just like ugh, could be a whole nother month with like the same makeup bag I'm just like getting itchy for new things so something else though that I have purchased since coming here was a body lotion I didn't really have a full-size body lotion with me just a travel one in my bag and this is one that I knew I was going to get because you can get it at Mecca in store in Christchurch which is awesome and it smells so good and I just remembered about it like just before we left Australia I was like that's definitely the one I'm going to get when I arrive. It's by Soap and Glory and it's the The Righteous Butter and this my friends is probably the most beautiful body butter you will ever use. Texture wise it's gorgeous, the scent is amazing. If you remember way back in the day Dior used to make a fragrance called Miss Dior Cherie and it's actually a little bit different to the current fragrance Miss Dior that's like on the market. They kind of slightly reformulated it and changed all the branding. But the old version, Miss Dior Cherie, which I had when I was like 16 or something, um, smelled exactly like this. Oh, it's so delicious. So it's kind of like really nice to have a body lotion that smells so similar to that fragrance I used to absolutely love. I still like the new Miss Dior perfume, but Miss Dior Cherie was like the best. In terms of like books and TV shows and such, honestly, don't have much to update you guys on, which considering me and Alex went through two weeks of quarantine, you might find really shocking. But I hardly did any reading through October. And the reason was because my phone was always beside my bed. And that is the biggest like preventer of me doing any reading is if my phone sits next to my bed. So you go into quarantine, you plug your phone into the switch right by bed as you're kind of used to. 
and then it meant at night instead of reaching for my kindle i was like reaching for my phone and like scrolling and because i was so active on instagram stories through that time as well i had so many dms to reply to you from you guys so i just found myself with actually very little time to read um, and then obviously moving in and you know preparing for this audition and stuff thankfully in terms of my like 20 books in 2020 goal that i've been trying to achieve i was already a little bit ahead so i'm actually still on track to meet that which is really good and i have just this week started a new book that i'm already about 40 percent of the way through so i'm like devouring that mainly because i put my phone in the studio at night so i've like moved my plug into here to charge it at night so that way when i get into bed i'm not distracted and i can just get on with reading so important those old habits just come back with a vengeance if you just slip up so highly suggest that if you're struggling to fit in reading my suggestion is to get rid of your phone by your bed and leave your book or your kindle by your bed and that way you'll actually read for a little bit before you go to sleep but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video it's very chill i just wanted to chat through pretty much updates on what's been happening some of the little favorite products that I've been enjoying and otherwise I'll see you guys in my next video getting ready for my concert on the weekend I'm very excited once again if you do want to interact with me in between my videos and like stay up to date with more sort of day-to-day -day updates of my life definitely head over to my Instagram it's just at Anna and Lane but otherwise I will see you guys in my next video bye